purpose of Make-A-Wish is to grant the special wishes of children with life-threatening illnesses. And it was inspired about 20 years ago by a little boy named Chris Gracious. The last week of my son Chris's life, a group of officers learned that his dream was to become a highway patrolman. They rallied together and they did just that. They made him the first and only honorary highway patrolman in the history of the state of Arizona. And thanks to these guys, a little boy's dream came true. And so did moms. And these memories will last a lifetime. Three weeks after I returned from Chris's funeral, one of the officers, Frank, got with me and he was so touched by what had happened to Chris. And he said, I have this idea. Let's make wishes come true for lots of other kids just like Chris. As a police officer, we see a lot of people die, but we're never used to seeing children die. Watching the wish take away Chris's pain helped take away my pain. I felt that if we could do this for one child, we could do it for several children and their families. And that's when I got involved as the first volunteer. And I remember that wish so many years ago like it was yesterday. So they created the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The first wish that they granted was for a little boy named Bobsy. The first Make-A-Wish child, Bobsy, I was called and his wish is to be a firefighter. His mother called us up and said that he wasn't going to make it through the night. So I arranged for the ladder truck to come down to the hospital. Broke a few rules, but uh, we go in and put the ladder up to the window. We crawled through the window. He was smiling and happy. Uh, later on that evening, he did pass away, and we were really glad that we came down. It's the most gratifying thing I ever really did. It's a high that you can't even begin to describe. And um, f for everything that you put into a wish, you get back a hundred or a thousand fold. You know, we're the lucky ones because we're the ones that have gotten to see the magic. The reason I got involved with Make-A-Wish is because I think one of the, the best things you can give anybody at any time is hope. And I think with Make-A-Wish, you're funding hope. Make-A-Wish uh, is inspiration to many children who have given up hope for the future. Some patients with cancer who have lost the will to live and no longer want to receive life-saving treatment oftentimes can have their spirit renewed after a make-wish has been granted and are then willing to receive life-saving treatment and possibly then are, are cured of their cancer as a result of their renewed spirit. From the time of the make-wish on, she gradually got better. So we always consider that one of her first miracles is to be able to get cured of cancer and we feel that the make-wish trip was a very, very big part of that. Miracles do happen. And I think it makes a big difference on their outlook because they want to give up at a certain point, but they can't because they have something to do tomorrow, so they have to keep going, and that's what this one's done. Make-A-Wish uh, came into our life at a you know tough time. And to see what my son and our family um, was given was just, you know, very powerful. We can give the child and the family something doctors cannot. We give them joy and happiness, and no medicine can do that. I mean, they didn't only put joy in his life, but they lifted the whole family. We didn't have finances enough to, to do this rally, so I really thank God for a Make-A-Wish. It was uh, conceivable to think that maybe Gary could go, but they said, no, I, we're taking the whole family. And they took all 12 of us. It really impacted our whole life. It just gave us the encouragement that we needed at that time, and we'll never forget it. And we, no one has forgotten it, and that was 10 years ago. Make-A-Wish gives me the ability to give them something more, something bigger, some boost. And the doctor, his exact words were, this kid needs a boost, now's the time for Make-A-Wish, because he needs all the strength he can get going into this. And James called me on his 16th birthday when he had gotten his driver's license and wanted to take me out for a date. And this is a child that was supposed to die in two weeks. What the doctors tell us is that the longer they hold on, the greater their chances of survival. We never use the word terminal at Make-A-Wish. We use life-threatening. There's nothing for certain. I've seen children come back after their wish five and six years later to say hello and find their picture on the wall. I believe Make-A-Wish had a lot to do with that. Anything that will spark them to hang on to life because tomorrow may be the cure. The feeling I get from helping all these Make-A-Wish children would be just like saving 10 people from a fire. There's nothing better than that. I love raising money for this organization because we have so few opportunities in our lives to give back. 
and this is my way. And I feel a certain peace and calm because I know I made a difference. To see this child with a big smile on his face, kissing Mickey, really gives you a good feeling. And I think that's one of the reasons why I've been there for nine years. When you see these kids, you know, and they've got leukemia and cancer, and they're fighting through that, and they have smiles in their faces, it makes you think, hey, we don't have it so bad. And you realize what they're faced with, and you drive home and you think, well, <laughs> so I didn't pay my telephone bill. You know, so my kid got a C in math. So what? At least he got a C in math. At least he's here to get a C. I'm a regular donor to Make-A-Wish, and if I'm having a tough day or a challenging moment, uh, I'll know I can go into Make-A-Wish, write a check, make a donation, and instantly things will turn around. Well, it gives you the warm fuzzy. I was concerned that I was going to get emotional when we went out to visit the families and that I would perhaps cry or that it would be very sad, which it ended up being quite the opposite. We really, you know, see the benefits on a daily basis, both to the children and to the company. What we did was put together a golf tournament in clinic, so we were able to, on an annual basis, get together with our best clients and at the same time create a revenue stream for the charity that they can look forward to every year. And when you see the light in their eyes, money is no object. I have done something for this world. It always has come back to me, but it made me a success by giving. As a surgeon, I feel a great deal of satisfaction from improving people's health physically but that doesn't come close to the emotional high that I receive when I see the results and the effects of my contribution to Make-A-Wish. Another reason why I give is if it's not me, I wonder who will. And I think in granting that child that, that wish, uh, you're giving them the hope that other wishes can come true as well. And that, to me, is incredibly powerful. And what it has done for me in my life, the positive attitude that I have, it's going to help me change the world. Even if you have only one hour or limited skills, your involvement will make a difference. It's exciting to see these little wishes come true. Come be a part of us. Thank you.